If you travel to the magnificent land of Turkey, one of the most intriguing and colorful sights you will find is a special dance performed by what we know as the whirling dervishes. These amazing people keep spinning and spinning and spinning around like tops. I would be unbearably dizzy after about two seconds of that, but they keep on going seemingly forever. It is quite a sight to behold. But this is not mere entertainment. This is a mystical ceremony of the Sufis, a ritual known as the Sema. This dance ceremony goes back to the 13th century, to the time of the prophet and poet Rumi. Accompanied by ethereal music and divine poetry, everything in the ceremony has mystical, symbolic significance. In spinning, they ritualize the dynamic motion of the entire revolving universe. The Sufis performing this ritual unite themselves intensely to the God of heaven and earth. They lift their hearts up to the God above and recognize that same God on earth. They celebrate the divine presence in every part of the universe and bow reverently to that presence in one another. The Sufis recognize that everything in our existence is in constant motion, spinning endlessly. Every cell within us is revolving, every electron, every moon, planet, and galaxy. All of the universe is in dynamic motion, revolving to the eternal rhythm of the divine dance. Human life itself depends upon the dynamic circulation of the blood, upon the cycle of the seasons and the cycle of the ages of life. We are from the earth and we return to the earth. We are from heaven and we return to heaven. In one of the most profound rituals I have ever experienced, these mystics consciously unite themselves to the dynamic rhythm of the revolving universe of God, moving in harmony with the divine life, the divine order, the divine word, the divine love, moving with the wonderful motion of God. Isn't this exactly what we do in offering the sacrifice of the Mass? We recognize God in heaven, and we recognize God here on earth, and we consciously unite ourselves, our hearts and our voices, to those of the angels around the throne of God. In the Mass, we call down heaven to earth, and we recognize the heavenly in everything and everyone around us. When the Sufis perform this sacred ritual and spin and revolve in conscious harmony with the divine order, they do so with hands extended, the right hand extended palm upward to receive the life of God, the word of God, the love of God, the reign of God and the left hand extended palm downward to bestow that divine love, that divine life, that divine reign on the universe around us. And so they allow themselves ritually to become the instruments of the reign of God, which is not merely up above, but very much all around us in every human heart and in every particle of the universe. Everything is the throne of God. Let us too open our eyes, open our hearts, open our hands, open our lives to that divine motion, that divine reign, that divine life 
that divine love. Let us be, too, instruments of making that rain visible to those around us. From time to time throughout history, God has sent to us prophets to tell us of the divine rain all around us, prophets to call us back to a harmonious spinning with the divine order. Such a prophet was John the Baptist, who came to call us to repent, to harmonize the motion of our lives with the eternal motion of God and God's universe. Repent, harmonize, spin together with God. Recognize God all around you. Recognize God inside of you. Such a one was Moses, who opened his eyes and was able to see the divine all around him. Everything as part of the eternal and universal throne of God was able to hear the word of God from a burning bush, took off his shoes in recognition of the divine even under his feet. We are reminded of the immortal words of the great poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning, who wrote, Earth's crammed with heaven, and every common bush afire with God. But only he who sees takes off his shoes. Let us then open our eyes to see the fire in the bushes. Open our hands to receive the life of God and bestow it further. Let us open our hearts, open our lives to the love of God, the voice of God, the life of God, the reign of God above us, below us around us, within us. Let us move, let us spin, let us live in constant harmony with the eternal revolution of God. Otherwise, our lives are nothing but aimlessly spinning tops.